Hey, FOB Youth, it's Pastor Cody checking in with you. I hope you guys are having a great Monday. Uh, we are starting our new devotional series. So last week, we went through living with your family, which, as you know, in this uh, quarantine phase, can be kind of difficult. So today, uh, we're starting our new series of spiritual practices. And so today, I'm kicking it off, but the rest of the week, you'll hear from different leaders and different uh, students within uh, our youth group that will check in and share with you different spiritual practices that we can use um, to up our game or um, to help us to become a stronger Christian. Uh, and what better way to, to start or what better time to start than right now when you have tons of time on your hands or you may be super stressed because of uh, finals or classes, AP classes that you might have to um, deal with right now. So we're going to dig into those, but today when we kick it off, uh, we're talking about, the title of it is, Why Do We Practice? And so, I don't know about you, but uh, if you're anything like me, when I was growing up in high school and middle school, um, I had my favorite athletes or my favorite, you know, people I looked up to. Uh, some of them was in baseball, it was Greg Maddox or Randy Johnson, who were phenomenal um, pitchers within the major leagues. Um, or you could have looked up to uh, pillars of faith like Billy Graham or Louis Giglio now or Stephen Furtick or Levi Lusco or um, Pastor Harris, um, you name it, Pastor Sonny within our church, um, different people within the faith even. Uh, or it could be, you know, artists such as Justin Bieber or Taylor Swift um, or Michael Jordan, you name it. There are countless people that, you know, we can almost look up to that they practiced their talent for countless hours. It just didn't just fall upon them, but they had to practice. And so we all have, in this devotional, it talks about how we all have heroes, people that, you know, we want to be like, or even um, we wish we could trade our lives with. You've, you've contemplated that. Oh, you know, if I was Justin Bieber, I would do it this way. Or, you know, I would love to trade my life for so-and-so. Um, and so... The point is that these people we look up to didn't just wake up one morning and they were a rock star or um, a phenomenal athlete um, or a, a person of, of faith uh, that everyone looked up to. You know, it was daily practice over time that helped them get to where they were um, or where they are today. It's true of great musicians. It's uh, true of great athletes. It's true to uh, great Christians, great athletes, great Christians, great people learning to follow or learning to get into or grow into that, that talent or that position takes practice. Um, and likewise, learning to follow Jesus takes practice. And we can look at this in 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 7. It's, it tells us that godliness or Christ-likeness comes with training. It doesn't just happen overnight, but it happens over countless decisions, um, countless opportunities that we can grow over time. And so with that being said, um, just like our heroes, just like um, great athletes, great Christians, great musicians, they were given, we were given some level of talent, some level of an aspect of their life was given to them as a gift. Uh, same as we received salvation as a gift. Nothing we did earned that in our life. Nothing that we could have done earned our place in God's family. But, you know, at some point, Michael Jordan, LeBron, Greg Maddox, Randy Johnson, Justin Bieber, Taylor Swift, um, at some point, they all decided to take responsibility for that gift that had been given to them and hone their craft through practice to take what they had received and see how far it would take them. That's the similar in our life how we could take godliness, salvation, that gift, and see how far we can take it through practice. It's, it starts with us recognizing that the gift we've been uh, given in salvation needs to be put into practice to become deeper in Christ. And so today, and in this series of devotionals, we're gonna look at 
how spiritual practices are all about spending time with, with Jesus, getting to know him, and becoming more like him through different areas or different um, opportunities or through different practices that we can put in place in our life. And so God created us each uniquely different than the other. So what I want to do is during this, this devotional series, there's going to be different practices that some might work for you and some might not. And so what I want to challenge you is find what works for you and run with it. Run with it and put it into practice and spend hours over your, your next week or over the next year and really put it into practice and hone that, that talent or that aspect in to make it work for you. And so you might find yourself drawn to one or the other, and that's okay. But let me tell you is each one of these spiritual practices reveals something new about who God is and how he made us unique. And so I want you to practice each of these and find what works for you. And, and so I want you to think about these is the, the same way that there are practices or aspects or things, opportunities that bring us closer to Christ. There are also things that take us away from Christ. And so here's some reflection questions that I want you to reflect on and think about today during this, uh, this you know, devotional time that you'll spend with, with God. And so the first one is, what are you practicing currently that is not making you more like Jesus? What are you doing in your life that is taking you away from Jesus? Maybe it's, you know, certain things that you're watching. Maybe it's things that you're listening. Maybe it's, it's dwelling on anger rather than peace. Maybe it's, it's doing something rather or doing nothing rather than doing something. Or maybe it's who you're spending your time with. Or maybe it's what you're spending your time doing. Maybe you need to get rid of certain things in your life and add different things. Whatever that is, look at your life and see what practices or what things that you're doing that are taking you away from Christ. And change it. Change it so then you're growing closer to Christ rather than going away from Christ. Number two is this, who do I need to ask to come alongside me to help me train to be more close to Christ? Who do you need to gather around you? And, and so, you know, who can I help guide me along the way? And write down a few people and reach out to them this week. And then number three is this last one is, what should I start practicing to make me more like Christ? So the first one is, what are the things making you or taking you away from Christ? Jot down what those are and then put into practice the opposite of what that is. What can I do to bring me close to Christ? And then put those into place, put those into practice and start switching those wrong ones and making them right. So I wanna pray for you, um, but take some time today and really dive into it and really take hold of what we'll talk about this week through the different students and different other leaders that we have speaking this week. So let's pray. Lord, I thank you so much for today. And God, I just, I just pray right now, God, that each one of these days that as we're talking about different social or spiritual practices, God, that we would practice each one of these and, and make it unique to our lives. Maybe one thing works better than the other and really honing in on what works and getting rid of the things that are taking us away from you and putting into practice things that bring us closer to you. I pray, Lord, that you would guide us in this, uh, bring us people in our lives that will help train us up, and just uh, help us to become closer to you each and every day. I pray that in Jesus' name. Amen. We love you. Hope you guys have a great week. And uh, definitely tune in for the next days to come because they are going to be awesome. We love you. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye.